We're back, people, and today we're bringing a film on Austin Booker, Kansas Edge. He's one of my favorite edges in like that second round range. After you get after those like the top tier first round edges, Booker's a guy I would definitely be comfortable targeting. He's just a playmaker. He gets the job done for sure. Has a nice inside counter to his game. Loves to set that up. He's got nice first step explosiveness. Overall athleticism is pretty good with like body control balance. My biggest problem that comes with Booker is for a guy of his size and build, usually they have really good like lower body flexion. They can bend, which I don't think that's the strongest part of Booker's game. Um, like he has some moves in there that he w works on with like, you know, the inside stuff that I was talking about. He can use a dip and rip. He just doesn't have that bend that you want, like the super desirable. And uh, he can hold his own at the point of attack versus tight ends fairly easily. But I think when it comes to beating tackles, he has to win with his quickness using his hands, things like that, because he doesn't have the greatest power to set the edge, be that type of player. Strength, point of attack can be a little bit of a problem in his game. But he does have a good job. He did a good job producing, getting skinny, beating people with that quickness, that first step explosiveness, things like that. It's definitely the best part of his game and he does a good job playing leverage too um which is important and then even though i do think he can't have more of a plan when he does get his moves timed up perfectly because he like sets things up and then really does a good job of combining his length using his length catching people off balance has a good feel instinct for that game and then getting after the quarterback either you know whether he finished with sacks or just created the pressures he did a pretty good job overall winning in multiple different ways I just wish like honestly if he had more of like a bend aspect to his game a little more flexibility he would be a top tier edge in this class for me taking a look at this first play here from booker he circled he does a really good job with this move it's probably one of his favorite moves where he attacks that outside half of of the offensive lineman where he's been setting this up he likes to hit the rip to the outside but he doesn't love to use the dip and rip all the time because he doesn't have that bend to always flatten to the quarterback. They kind of have to get a bit like a little bit deeper in the pocket. So he sets that up uh, by attacking that outside half. And then once he gets them to shoot his hands, you know, he gets that like little uh, swipe right there and then wins to the inside. I do feel like he can probably uh, be a little more efficient with his hands at times. Like I feel like he can play a little bit out of control, but he still got the job done. So I do think he can even show some improvement while still producing, which is always a nice thing. A guy that can produce... Well, he can still work on the technical side of their game and then he just has really good length so he does a great job of keeping his chest clean winning back to the inside and then he has a hot motor to always work to the quarterback those types of plays just show up all over the film another example of it this time uh doing it from the left edge instead of the right edge he has good positional versatility he's comfortable on both sides and i've seen him do some stuff even as like a three four end which is not his skill set like just like how he's built his athleticism that's not where he should be playing but he even made some plays in those areas too, which is a nice thing to see. But he is more of like a 3-4 edge at the next level. Uh, another good job here. Combining feet with hands. Get to the outside. Hit that club. Swim over the top. Get to the quarterback. Get these guys off balance. Pretty Did it pretty often. It's that length combined with that quickness. More of a linear athlete like I was talking about. He's just that lower body tightness. He <laughs> has a different uh, set of movement. You can see some of the lower body tightness on this play. You can see the good... Uh, stuff that he can set up, he has the ability to win inside just with quickness, but he also has a spin move in his arsenal, which is nice. Really good timed as well. Definitely comfortable doing this stuff. And then now the quarterback escapes the pocket, and you can see how he has to, like, basically bend and turn the arc right here. And you can see he doesn't have that, that, that flexion that you're looking for to completely turn and run with the quarterback. He has to basically reset his feet. Uh, so those are, like, the negative parts of his game, and that's kind of what's holding him into the second round. And you don't need to be like super bendy to be a productive rusher at the next level. Um, it definitely helps out, but he at least has other ways that he can win. And uh, I think he would be a pretty exciting, like at least a first year pass rush specialist type that can, if you know, add some mass to his lower half or, you know, potentially hold up at the point of attack, be a little bit better in the running game because I don't think he has the greatest strength either. Then he can turn into a full time player, but I'm expecting first year he's going to be more of that pass rush specialist because he's still gets after the QBs in a multiple of ways. Like he does like the bit of a ghost move here, dip and rip, winning to the outside. Nice to see that he can do this. The bend and flexion isn't perfect once he gets around that corner, because but the QB, you know, gains a bunch of depth, uh, depth. But it is nice to see that he has this in the arsenal, attack the outside half, throw out that inside hand right here. Like you're going to hit him with that long arm or like speed to power work back into the quarterback, which he does a good job with his hands and doing that type of stuff. Now he dips underneath. That's the ghost move. Neither 
offensive lineman's hands are to your back so you completely do that you rip underneath now you just work to the quarterback like as you can see it's kind of hard to tell from this angle but you can see that the way he has to get to the quarterback he doesn't have that natural bend but he still is able to get there which is nice lots of things that he can do well holding up at the point of attack in the running game showing flashes of this stuff but typically you know if he's holding up like this it's against a tight end which is a good job it is a bigger tight end but at least you know the technique here is sound where how he squared him up decent base uh able to stack shed get across I feel like he can play with some pretty good instincts in the running game don't think it's his biggest strength but he did sh uh, show some more playmaking ability uh, sometimes he'll get swallowed up when he the guys do get hands into his chest he can get taken out of the play but then you know uh use that length, use the feel. He feels this guy get a little overextended, lunge a little bit out on him. He's able to throw him to the side like it's nothing and then get back, fill, make a play in the backfield. At least those plays flash first the run, which is nice. I just don't think it's as consistent. And a lot of the, you know, these types of plays came when he was playing more of a hand in the dirt, which I don't think is his ideal role at the next level. But at least he showed he can do some work there. Another example of an inside counter, this one, uh, the right tackle doesn't like overset as much. Usually the other ones that we were oversetting a little bit, but he's able to just get down instantly. Him and his D-tackle even run into each other, but he's able to split this, get so skinny, which is important. Underneath, maintain your balance, and then, you know, force the quarterback to basically try to get it away as you're sacking him, but there's another way of him winning with slightly different scenarios, which is nice to see. I do like those, those types of plays from Booker. Let him work after the quarterback. Love when it's like, um, we've seen him get his like true pass rush reps one on one. This one a little bit different, where he's just uh, looks like they're trying to work a stunt where he's the loop guy, and he kind of gets engaged with his alignment when he probably shouldn't. But he does a good job of using his length and leverage here to create that space, knocks him off balance. You can see he has some pop in his hands. Work back around, um, avoid the center, use those hands well again. Like length, use that left hand. You have a way longer hands, uh, way longer arms than the center does. So he just gets that left hand straight into the chest. This guy gets no hands on him. The quarterback's trying to break out of this pocket. Booker is just able to track him all the way through. And that's just another nice way of being able to get a sack. It doesn't always have to be it's like Drew pass rush reps one-on-one. -on -one. And when he gets like the uh, these reps with the guards or the centers, the interiors, just the way the th wings, things slide, um, he knows how to use that length to his advantage very, very well. Attack half the man, get that left hand into the chest, now this guy has no chance of basically getting his hands exactly where he wants it just based on his positioning here. Gets low and then look at him just drive, use the full extension, combining it with the hips as well and just tosses him out of the club. Get off the quarterback. Would like to see him, you know, finish with the sack there, but a very nice play nonetheless. You can see the potential he has really as a pass rusher, like the, the ability to do it from different alignments, whether he's standing up, hand in the dirt. And doing it versus tackles, guards, just uh, very fun to watch Booker get to work in those types of plays, those scenarios. Another example of him working that inside counter, but this time, instead of um, winning with quickness, he's able to initially attack the outside half like he usually does, but instead, you know, he just opens him up, uses that leverage, that length again, um, extend, get him to open up that pathway to the inside. So this is just, you know, winning with your leverage here using it to your advantage, get that guy exactly where you want. And when you create that space and he does a really good job of being really low with his pad level. And a lot of times when guys get low like this, they lose their balance and their power, but he does a great job of maintaining that balance and power while still able to be able to extend in that upper half to keep himself clean and then get after the quarterback the whole way. Uh, very, very nice work from Booker. Those are the plays that I like to see. Last play that I want to look at like uh, in the running game here, nothing too crazy. I just like to see him, uh, even when he doesn't, recognize things perfectly because i feel like on this play he seems a little lost initially i feel like he thinks this guy's gonna crack back in but it doesn't happen so he peeks away then he comes up field uh since his eyes were not on on the original play he feels a little lost here but he's still able to get off of it find the runner late and then go and chase down and make a tackle so that's some good hustle there um he just seems like a guy that even if things don't go perfect technically wise or you know he doesn't recognize the play initially he still somehow always gets involved and makes a play so he can even improve in those scenarios the biggest problem where I, you know i don't see him improving very much is that lower body uh lack of flexion that he has he doesn't have that bend those are things you're just not gonna you know magically get at least you know you can maybe improve on it slightly but it's not gonna be something that's a huge part of his game which is why 
I see him more as a day two player. But I do like him as an option. You can get a lot of work with him done. Definitely uh, work him in multiple different ways. And I do feel like, you know, you don't, I've seen, you know, plenty of edge rushers who aren't super like the bendy types still be successful at the next level. And I think Booker can be that guy. It will be interesting because he's, I think, you know, one of the, the players with this build who isn't super bendy. And we'll see if that ends up translating. But I do think he can still find some success for sure. If you're looking for like a second round edge, so if you guys are the new, come to Tim's Scrum, love you to my bees.